Hello Year 9. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sheet metal folding tool function on Onshape. Um, I'm going to start by creating a cube. Um, this should be quite a familiar process to you. I'm going to make that 100 by 100 by 100 mil. Once I've created that cube, I'll then have a 3D object which I can create a net for. As you can see there, I've created my cube. Now this tool up here is called the Sheet Metal Model. So I'm going to select that tool and you can see over here this uh, box appears. So it says parts and service to convert. So I would convert, I would like to convert this 3D object into a net. It then says faces to exclude. So I have created this box, but if I would like to have a box without a lid, I could select that I would not like to include that. I'm not going to select a face to extrude. I'm going to create a full cube. And then this menu here says edges or cylinders to bend. And that is me selecting the edges of this 3D shape that I would like to be bent as opposed to cut. So if I select that, I'm then going to select all of the edges of the base of this cube. And I'm going to pick one from the top to connect that lid piece. Now, if I select too many edges or ones that on shape know will conflict and not be allowed because this is a 2D piece of material, it will put that edge in red. So if I select this one here, this then goes red and it tells me that that conflicts. I'm going to unselect that one there. When I complete that, I'm then left with a sheet metal folded equivalent of that part. Has that worked? That has worked. And over here, in this option here, shows me a net of what that would look like. So if I can see my 3D part here, and as I select a face, a face is selected on my net. What I can then do if I want to, I can select this and export it, and I can use this to uh, export this to a laser cutter or to print that file. Good luck.